So the last thing that could potentially ever come up for you guys with the normal distributions and the graphs is being able to estimate the mean and standard deviation from a graph. And you'd have to think that the mean would usually just be somewhere near the peak, right? Um, and this is probably a skill that you won't need at level 2. But if it did come up that you needed this, um, you can look at this video really if you've done everything else and you're, you know, you've totally caught up. This might be something to just put in your pocket. You can use it next year at level 3 and it could potentially come in handy for you this year, but it's not a guarantee too, so I wouldn't worry about it if you're not caught up on everything else yet. So on the graph, you're going to need to enter in your x value with its height as a, on the y-axis as a pair and a stat. And what I mean by that is that for the particular values on x, we need to figure out how tall it is on y. And we put those in as coordinate points sort of into stat. Now, if there's more than one value along a, on a bar along the x-axis, we need to use the midpoint. And what I'm saying here is that I've got a certain number of things or a certain frequency of things that are between 60 and 65, for instance, so I need to use the midpoint. So halfway between 60 and 65 would be 62.5. Half of 5 is 2.5, so 62.5. Again, 65 plus 2.5, I'm going to get to 67.5. So these midpoints happen between all these different numbers, again adding 2.5 each time to get to them. So using the midpoint. And then I need to figure out how high it is, what the y-axis would be. So here we're going to do just some estimation, I guess, because it's not an exact scale. And again, this is just to estimate. It won't be perfect unless the graph is really clear. So for this bar, I'm going to estimate the height. Well, this would be 0 0.01 here. Uh, so maybe 0 0.002. Not all the way up to that first one yet, but sort of part of the way there. This one's not up to that yet either, so maybe 0 0.006. Um, for this one, I might estimate something like... Hmm, this is going to be your 0 0.03. It's a little bit higher than that, so maybe 0 0.032. These guys are clearly read 0 0.06, again 0 0.06. And this one, well that looks like it's just below the 3. It's going to be 0 0.029. And taking a look at this one, it appears like it's just above that 1. So maybe 0 0.011. And again, this is an estimation, so you read it as best you can off the graph, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Now that we've got an x, like 62.5, and a y, we're going to put them into stat. What that means here, menu number 2 for stat, and you're going to go in here. Down list 1, you're going to put in the x values here, so 62.5, for instance. You would just type 62.5 and press enter. And for the y value, you would put in what it is. And here I did 0 0.002 and press enter. You'll notice that it ends up putting it into um, standard form there with the e negative 3. But if you put in the decimal as you expect it to be, don't worry, your calculator knows what it's doing. So I entered in all those points for each one, for instance 67.5 and 0 0.006 all the way down to the last one, which was 92.5 and 0 0.011. Entered in as pairs there. And you might remember doing that from stats earlier in the year. So the next thing that we're going to do, if we kind of follow along here, we've gone to put this stuff in. Next thing I'm going to click on is Calc. And then I need to go to Set first. And in Set, I need to make sure that it says List 1 and List 2. It often just says something like this. List 1 and then just the number 1. You need to make sure you change that to list. And hit list 2. Hit enter so it should say list 1 and list 2. Like you've got here on your notes as well. So we've gone from calc to set. Which was the next button we hit to get to this one. And then you checked for list 1 and list 2. Go back to your calc, 
hit enter, and we're going to hit variable 1 as our next button. So again here we hit calc, set, after you've hit set, go back to var1, and we've got our information now. So that x with the bar on top of it, this first one, that is the mean, x bar 79.96, so that's close to 80 is the mean. And the standard deviation is this one down here, the x sigma n. Um, I can't remember what it says on your calculator, I think it's just sigma n or x sigma, it's just two letters. But you should see one that says something like 6.15, that's the appropriate one for you. This version is slightly different. So again, on the calculator, x bar, that's your mean, and this one here is going to be the standard deviation. So for this graph, I would say that my mean is about, I might just round that to 80, I don't know what's being measured in here, bad graph, no scale. And my standard deviation here, and again mean being that on the normal, and my standard deviation here is approximately 6.15. So that would work for us. If you needed to do it again for more practice, you can take a look at this one. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and just put down the answer so that you guys can see that, not have to watch the whole thing, but I'm going to go through and match these up. So 2.4 with a frequency of 1. So one person got a GPA of 2.4. I'm going to go along and fill that in on my calculator and we'll see what we get. So I've gone through and entered in all the numbers from the table again, noticing that I'm matching up pairs like 2.9 and 5. In the calculator you can say 2.9 and 5. The next thing I pick, hit, hit there is calc. Make sure I'm set to the right area, the right parameters here, so it says list 1 and list 2. And again, if you need to see that one more time, often you'll come in here and it will look like this. So you need to go down and fix that to say list 2. Hit enter. I'm going to hit variable 1. And here I can see my mean is zero, sorry, 3.025 roughly. And my standard deviation is 0 0.33. So here the mean would be 3.025 and the standard deviation was 0. Point, forget 0. 0.33 roughly